Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another video, another craft with me. Um, I watched this over on Kathy's Garden, phenomenal creator over there. She creates some very unique things and so I did um, have some videos of her shared in my inspiration playlists and so I went and picked one to work on today. I'm getting back in the swing of creating. Uh, it's been about two weeks since I've really done anything creative. So um, yeah, getting my feet wet. So um, I've got my supplies, corner uh, circle punch, uh, eyelets, eyelet setter, corner rounder, archival ink, vintage photo, scissors, and let me grab my ruler because I'm sure that we're going to need to measure and give you dimensions. But this is what we're going to make. So I'm going to take this piece off because it's a separate dealio but this I did it a little bit different than Kathy did I believe hers were much much smaller but the idea is you have this you see have this flip thing this thing that flips out is actually going to glue to the signature page I'm going to make it be a pocket so I'm just going to um, glue it on three sides and that's where this comes into play this if I can grab it this journal card is going to go into that pocket behind like so so that's there. And then um, what you have here is a pocket with a couple of tags. And then on the back, and this is what really um, caught my attention, is I'm always looking for writing space. And so on the back, again, she did it a little bit differently. Um, and it might have been a mix of a couple different videos that I came up with as I can't quite remember. But um, I've got some writing pages here, just some scraps from my scrap bin, various uh, digitals and um, some coffee dyed linen paper from my stash and I love 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 that now one could put another pocket here I might still do that I completely forgot that that could probably handle handle a little bit more but that's what we're going to make today and this is obviously for the joyful spring journal that I'm still working on so I'm going to set that just right there so that we have it handy in case we need it for measurements. So today we're going to be making one in a little bit more of a vintage style here using some papers. Most of these are from Ruby and Pearl. This is uh, from the LaBelle kit, I believe, and I just absolutely love this paper. Now, um, I'm still getting used to my printer. This does not print as vibrant as my other printer, but, you know, I have to deal with it. So... Um, and this is on the best quality, so I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, I do have my other, my old printer that I can use as a backup, but I don't really want to get into that either and have things be completely different um, tones and stuff. So I'm just getting used to it being not quite as vibrant. Like this pink would have been popped. This kind of sage green would have just been popped. So it's a little bit disappointing, but um, I love the printer in every other way. So I am, um, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, and then these are the bits. So this is our pages, our papers for the, um, the writing space and then some ephemera bits to put in pockets and to make pockets so that's what we got going on there so what you're going to do or what I'm doing is this one ended up being let me give you the dimensions so that you have an idea in case you're following along this measures five inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. So we're gonna continue that. Uh, we're gonna go with the same size. So I find it easiest to just fold the paper in half. Um, I haven't decided which way I want it to flip, but we will talk about that in a second. So let me just fold this in half. Okay, I'm gonna give that a good crease. I'm gonna grab my bone folder. There we go. So now that I'm on summer break, I'm finding myself a little bit lost. <laughs> so I have to now get into the routine of I'm just home every day, all day. Um, you know, I'll get together with my kids from time to time, but they're very busy too. Um, so, but I do get some time with my husband later in the week. So I'm super excited about that. So I am trying to think about what I want to have be the outside. I think I want this to be this part, so I want it to fold that way. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it down to be five by seven and a half, right? Five by seven and a half. Five by, yes, seven and a half. So give me just a quick minute. There we go. Okay, 
So that is that. So um, I love this paper. Oh my goodness, I just could go on and on and on about it. So then what you wanna do, if you want your page to be split in the middle, you wanna figure out what your center is. So I'm gonna use my zero gravity ruler, otherwise known as the Tim Holtz ruler. And I'm going to make a mark. So I'm just gonna find the center here. We've got two and we've got 10. And oh, look at that, perfect. So I'm going to make a mark and then I'm going to make a line and I'm just going to cut it by hand because my luck, I would probably cut the whole thing through because basically you're only cutting um, this top piece that flaps. So um, I'd be the one to cut the whole thing through though. So I'm trying to be somewhat strategic here. And I'm trying to find a way to get one of my grandkids to come over and film my studio tour and maybe be the person, the smaller person, to go in front of me and open drawers and stuff and have me with the camera. I haven't decided. My space is very small and uh, kind of crowded in terms of um, space where draw drawers are opening. I mean, I can get in there, but to get a camera in there is really is really tricky. But every year I do annually, I do a, a studio tour in July, so I'm planning for that. We did the drawing for the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. That was super fun. So I'm just waiting for one more person who um, who was drawn to win a prize. I, I've heard from two of them, but not the third one. So fingers crossed that they'll reach out. So there we go, there we go. So that's gonna flip out like that. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I love that. Ooh. Now it's been a little bit since I planned this, so I think I do want to round all of my corners. I really like the look of that. So let's do that really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and round all of the corners. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And it looks like I want to do these corners as well. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to ink up and I'll be right back. Okay, just getting to the end of the inking here. And let's get rid of these crumbs. I just push them on the floor and then I just sweep them up. Okay, so there we go. So that's our split. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this one down on the three two sides. So just this side and the bottom. So I'm going to grab my white glue. I didn't prepare myself very well. I'm going to get my uh, my art glitter glue as I mean, Fabri-Tac in case I want to use that. So we're going to go ahead and glue this. I'm just going to put a bead of glue here and here and then fold that back over. There we go. Just close that up. Oh, I love the way this is turning out already. Oh, I didn't make my thumb notch. What? Let's see if we can get this in here and do that. It may come loose a little bit here. Yeah, it's coming loose, so that's okay. We will glue that again. Completely forgot. Completely forgot. We'll just put another pinch of glue in there. Should have known better. Not a big deal. Okay. Boom. So there's our little pocket. Love it. And so over here, we are going to put... Um, want to put a pocket this is just the outside or this is going to get glued down so this will get glued down to the journal page so it's going to go like this let's just pretend let's pretend this is the journal page let me just fold this one in half just forgive the white forgive the white so this is our journal page and this would get glued here and this would flip out like that okay at least that's the theory Okay, so we're going to put a pocket here. So I found a couple things that I thought I might be able to use as a pocket. Um, this was one of them, but I think it's too big, but not very much. So I think we can take off a little bit off of each side and use that. Let's take a little bit more off this side. The digital itself is not, is not even Steven, so... Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I think it's a little too tall as well. But um, I almost wish I had it in vellum. I don't want to cover that up. But 
I don't have a choice. So, um, I think I'm going to cut it off at the bottom uh, between this script and this little um, design there. Just a moment. It's okay, we can make digitals work for us, so I think that's going to be fine. Okay, I'm going to do a rounding, but not the big rounding. I was using the 10 millimeter before. I think I'm going to use the 4 millimeter because I don't want to get in the way of that beautiful border. So we're going to just do that a little bit smaller this on this piece. And then I do want that one to stay, stay um, oh, that looks weird. Nope, that looks weird. we got to go with the 10 millimeter. Sorry. Oh, it's not in, 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 in print, infringing on that at all. But we are leaving that one corner square. Perfect. Ink this up really quick. I'm all um, disorganized and not very, not disorganized, but kind of fussy and just getting into the routine again. So I don't think I want a thumb notch on this because I don't want to cut out any more of that beautiful image. I think I'm going to bring it up a little bit so that we do see some of those flowers. So that's perfect. And yeah, let's just glue her down. So I'm going to hold it this way so that I can glue this, this, and this. Straight-ish. Okay, there we go. Oh, I love that. Okay, so um, before we put any ephemera and tags and stuff in the pockets, I think we're going to work on our little booklet. So, um, so basically what I did is I took five sheets of paper, uh, varying different um, sizes, and I used a piece of um, a scrap, and I well, I stapled underneath, I stapled these together, and then I glued this on top and put it over both pages like that. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, which means I'm going to have to tap into this, this piece of, um, of the digital. So I think I'd like to use this part down at the bottom. So I'm just going to cut this in half. Just a moment. Cut that white off at the bottom. Hopefully this is going to be wide enough because I didn't print it all the way to the... This is a digital that the original isn't exactly, doesn't fill up a page, so I have to enlarge it. But that looks... Look at that. It's like perfect. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut it um, probably about, um, about an inch and then we'll fold it in half. So let me cut that at an inch. Um, so hard for me to see the inch line. You know, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to estimate. Okay. So I'm just going to fold this over about that much. It's about a half of an inch. I'm going to burnish that really well. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut by hand the excess off. Okay. Boom, that's so pretty, isn't it? So that's gonna go up here when we're done and we'll round the corners and such when we get there. I do need to pull out my stapler because you know, between projects I put everything away. So <laughs> it's just me. Um, papers, so we've got some papers here and again, they're in varying sizes. So, oh, this one doesn't have anything on the back. Kind of is a bummer, but that's okay. Let me ink these up really quick. Okay, just about done with the inking. I did exchange that paper that didn't have anything on the back with another piece. So just from my scrap bin, not a big deal. There we go. So we are going to staple this together does not matter what order. I kind of like to have the thicker, a thicker paper on the back because it just creates some stability. So let's, and I kind of wanted that one on the front. So that was exactly the same size. So I want to make this one narrower. I want them to be kind of different. Okay. 
There we go. All right. So this is our stable paper. Boy, I'm just... Oh, thumbs. So that's our stable paper. So I'm just going to kind of line them up like that. And I, do, I don't want them to be completely even. So if they're... They can be a little bit wonky. That's good. That one again is too wide. So I'm going to just tear that down a bit. You can do this, of course, however you choose. Okay. Get a hold of it again. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, let's turn that around. We got that uneven edge on the bottom. And we've got one more with an uneven edge. Okay, this is coffee dyed linen paper from my stash. Oh, I love that. Is it too tall? It's not, it's actually not. They're actually kind of shorter than my other one, but that's okay. So I am going to just try to get those straight and I'm just gonna use my stapler and put a staple here and a staple here. And then we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put it on here and then we're gonna trim this off and round the corners. Easy as pie. I'm just gonna bring that over there. Um, oh, no, it needs to be, it needs to be the width of that. Okay, let me start that over again. So I need to round these corners here first with my 10 millimeter size corner rounder. Easy, okay. So because I want this to bridge the whole top of that, I'm gonna center it on here. So I'm just gonna kinda go that way. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the whole thing and then we will, um, thinking I need to use my white glue because it sets a little bit faster than the Fabri-Tac and I've gotten a little bit braver with the white glue lately. Fabri-Tac is usually my chosen glue. Oops, that's not helpful, Care Renee. <laughs> It's hopping away from me. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we want this funny part on the front. So I'm just gonna stick it on here and then I'm gonna try to center it before it dries, it sets. Okay, that looks good. Oh, that has to go on the page though. The back has to go on the page. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. I'm just gonna move that up a little bit or this down a little bit. Just even it up, that's okay. So I'm gonna use the Fabri-Tac now to put this on the page. I'm gonna put some there and just really saturate this. Make sure we get a good, a good adhesion, okay. And this is actually going on the back. I almost put it on the wrong side. So it's going on the back of this piece. So I'm just gonna set it on there and line it up and wrap it around like so. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's backwards now. I wanted that to be on the other side, but that's okay. So I've got some handy dandy little sewing clips that I think are needed to hold this, give it a chance to set. Come on, open. Alrighty. Awesome, love it. Okay, so that's the back. So now we can work on what's gonna go in this pocket. So I took a an image from Ruby and Pearl. I did have to cut it down, but I was able to print the front and the back of this vintage um, invoice kind of thing. It had numbers and stuff over here, but I had to cut it off to make it fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my handy dandy template 
um, tag shaper. I'm just going to cut that. Turn it over. Cut that. Boom. Okay. Let's ink this up. I just love this digital with the stamps on the bottom. Look at those. That's so cool. Love it. Let me ink the back here. I had to test how to how to do a front and back on the printer and it worked out right the first time. Now, hopefully I can remember how the paper feeds in. My brain doesn't tend to retain those details. So that's going to stick in there. I'll probably put some seam binding on the top later. Not too concerned about it right now. So that's going to stick in there. And then I thought this one would also be fun to just stick on top of that. But I want to round the corners on this one. Again with the 10, 10 millimeter. It's going to be a short video today. Shortish. Um, I am going to be working on making an accordion journal for Junk Journal July, which I mentioned before I'm going to be participating, but I'm going to be participating without rules and, and on my own schedule. So that might be mean I, I film one, one of every five days and let you guys and just show you what I did in the other four days and then do one together with you. We'll see. Oh, isn't that lovely? Woohoo! And then I had this too, and I thought this would be really cool as a as an embellishment somewhere, but I'm not sure where now because we don't have really anything, any place else to put it. But isn't that neat? I love that. I'll have to save that for something else. So it looks like I've got some pieces to go in this pocket, but it looks like they're going to have to be cut down somewhat. So let me trim. Oh, that one's going to be too big. Maybe we'll just do that as a little journal card. What do you think? I can always print another one if I want to use it for something else. Yeah, that's going to be cool. And then we'll just cut her down so she can fit in that pocket. Oh, that was not straight. Her top is not straight. Hopefully that's better. These are from Ruby and Pearl as well. I believe they're called um, Vintage Photographs. So, as many of you know, I still have the Winter Wonder Journal number two that I am just dodging. It seems I am going to do it, and I think I'm just going to set aside a day this week, and I'm just going to get up in the morning after I go for my walk. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to knock that baby out and get it done. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Now that is too big. She is too big. I don't really want to put her sideways. That's kind of silly. Let me see if I've got another one that might work a little bit better. I cut, I printed out a few choices here. I almost think this would be really pretty to put in as well to go with that other that other one but let's see we've got one that we could maybe get down just have to look and see what has enough of a margin uh, to go down. Oh this one would be really pretty but it, she's too big as well. Dog on it. How about this one? Yeah let's do that one. It's going the the other direction so that should work out well or this one you know can't cut enough of that one off let's do this one right here sorry for not being too prepared here for this this part so are any of you guys going to participate in junk journal july i've been surprised to see people in groups that i know that are doing it that i wouldn't have I wouldn't have guessed so I think it'll be fun I just really work hard at not um, 
not having another obligation and so I'm, I'm not treating it as an obligation I'm treating it as an opportunity to participate in something that I think will bring me joy and I'm going to do what I can do I had one of my favorite creators Daisy got Daisy Isaac reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to uh, get her stuff out there again for her and I, I just can't I had to tell her no and I feel terrible about that but I can't I can't take on any more. I'm trying to minimize my expectations, <laughs> the expectations I'm putting on myself. So I have to pace myself. I have to have limits and boundaries. Hold on, guys. Sorry, guys. I have to deal with the phone there. So that's going to slide in there, but it's going to have to go that way, which is fine. Um, really, really beautiful. And let's see, I was thinking about cutting out a circle of a person and putting it down here. So let's see if we can take one of these images and do that. Let's see what we've got here. I don't want anything too bold, you know, and different. Oh, this is so sweet. Their heads are kind of cut off though. I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, I think this tone right here would be really pretty um, with some of our other colors. So let's go ahead and cut her out and make a little circle embellishment. Okay. Oh, you know what? This one would have been really cute too. I don't know. I'd have to cut her wings off. I don't want to do that. Let me grab my bigger round punch here and see if I can cut a circle with her face. Oh yeah, and her little cat. Let's go from the other side though. Oh, so sweet. I love cats, but I'm allergic, so I only can uh, adore them from afar. I know for some people they are their great companions, so I think it's pretty cool. Oh, that's so pretty. So I feel like I want to put something across here, but I'm not sure um, what that might be. Give me a second. See if I've got anything that would work. It's nice to have kind of something to separate your space. Oh, that would be really pretty right there. Let's do that. Yeah, and that's gonna tie that flower in as well. So I'm just gonna mark this with my pencil. Trim that off. Link it up a little bit. And then we will be just about done. I'll probably put uh, an eyelet on top of that big tag. I'm not sure, but you guys will be able to see that in the photos at the end of the video. And then hopefully the next video you see after this one will be the Junk Journal January Accordion Journal Making video. I have never done it before, so I'm going to make one off camera um, because I've never made one the way that... that um, that, oh, what's her name? Meg, oh my goodness. Meg does, and I'm kind of trying, oh, that's the wrong way. Let me see if I can move that. I want that to go the other direction so I don't lose those flowers. That should be easy peasy. Yeah, boom. I've been watching Meg a lot, so I should know her name without any trouble. She's got such a sweet, relaxing voice. Very, very fun to listen to. <clears throat> okay, there we go. I love this so much. Okay, so again, it's going to glue on a page here. So you're gonna, we're going to lose that, but that's okay. It's going to flip out like that, but when it's closed, the person will be able to write on these spaces. I'll probably put some kind of... Um, of a word or something up there. I might put 
a little bit of a word, uh, probably not a word here because there's a lot of text going on, but um, I love it. And so I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you'll go over and check out Kathy over at Kathy's Garden. She's got a lot of great, great ideas and um, she's very beginner friendly. Um, so yeah, she's, she's the place to go. So I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.